Hey everyone! In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to set up Vencord and how to use it properly. Let's move on. First of all, you have to open your browser and go to vencord.dev. Click on the download button at the top. Over here, you can choose a method that suits you the best. I'm going to choose the browser as it's the easiest way for me. Thereafter, I'll install the browser extension onto my browser. After Vencord is installed, open up Discord. Then, go to your user settings and scroll down. There you will see a new category called Vencord. Now, I will show you how to change your Discord theme using Vencord. First, click on Themes. You can find themes to add from GitHub, or you could add better Discord themes. I'll find a good theme through the Better Discord website. You can choose any theme you want and click download. After that, you can upload them to your Discord client. After uploading, make sure to enable them like this. You have now changed your Discord theme. You can upload multiple themes onto Vencord and choose the one you want. Now, I'll show you how to add plugins to Vencord and some of the best plugins to add to improve your Discord experience. The first plugin is called Fake Nitro. Here it provides a description of what the plugin enables you to do. After you've enabled the plugin, you'll have to restart Discord. You will now be able to send emojis and stickers from other servers. But the catch is that people who don't have Vencord will see it as an image or a giphy. The size of the emojis can be adjusted by clicking on the settings icon near the plugin name. If you add this plugin, you will also be able to use Discord's themes for free. The plugin enables you to stream with HD quality too. The second plugin is called Show Connections. With this, you will be able to see other people's connections in user popouts without having to go to their profile. This can save you some trouble if you want to quickly check something. You can alter the icon size as well as the icon margin like this. The third plugin that I'm going to show you is called Pin DMs. Using this plugin, you can pin a user so that they will always appear at the top of your DM list. To pin someone, right click on their user and click on Pin DM. Create a new category, name it, and click Create. You can create multiple categories if you like. If you hate looking at really bright profile themes, you can use a plugin called No Profile Themes. This will remove the theme completely and display the profile normally. Another useful plugin is Silent Typing. This plugin hides that you are typing. If you don't want to let others know that you are typing something, this plugin will come in handy. This is how it will display normally, and this is how it will display with the plugin. If you want to check the member count of a server on desktop, you can use the plugin called Member Count. This plugin will display the amount of online and total members of a server. It will display when you hover over a server icon and also at the top right hand corner when you are on a server. So, that is it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. I will see you guys in the next one.